Hi guys, I am back today with another super exciting video. So today I got a really big surprise because it's Sunday and I normally don't get any kind of packages or mail on Sunday, but I happened to get all of my Wayne Goss goodies that I ordered the other day when they finally came available, which was so awesome. I was like super hyped about it. And uh, that was my birthday present from my husband. My birthday was two days ago. I, my birthday was on Friday and I turned 33. <laughs> uh, but I am super happy to have these in front of me right now so that I can share them with you guys and get your guys' opinions and share my thoughts on how each of them work and give you guys some lip swatches and some arm swatches and hopefully be helpful in some way if you guys want to pick some up because some of the colors are still available. Some of them did sell out which does not surprise me because they were gorgeous. So a little bit of info about each of them. The lipsticks are $28 a piece. The uh, lip pencil, ooh, I think it was 14 or 16 and I'll have it down below. And then the lip gloss was 22. So this is what each of them look like. The packaging is very sleek, really nice. Now I will say the boxes that came in, I destroyed. <laughs> I just tore these poor little suckers to pieces. Like you can see they're ripped and stuff. I'm. They're really cool until I destroyed them, but in any case, uh, so that was really nice outer packaging. This kind of packaging, though, is super, like, it's kind of bougie, and I dig it. <laughs> but it does get fingerprints on it, so that is one thing to note. Maybe keep, like, a little clothy wipey. Like, if you have glasses like I do, which I should be wearing, but I'm not, um, keep a little wipey and just wipe it clean. Uh, the pencil, this is the only one I got. This is the Essential Lip Pencil, and... This kind of reminds me of at least what I think they look like, uh, the Clinique pencils, but I've never used those, so I don't, I don't know anything about them, but it's really light. Like it feels like I'm holding almost nothing. So I do wish that the cap would have been like more substantially weighted, if that makes sense, or even the pencil itself more substantially weighted, but the performance was great. So I guess, you know, do I want a nicer package or do I want it to perform well? No, I want to perform well. And then the last thing would be the lip gloss, which is fantastic. I love the packaging. I think it's super cute. I love the glass bottom and then the black top. This again is like very sleek looking, very compact, easy to carry, um, which I love because I constantly carry lip stuff with me all the time. It is a problem or solution, but in any case, so that is what that looks like. I am going to drop everything, possibly break it. Why not? You're here, I'm here, we're all here. But in any case, in a few seconds, you're gonna see me do some lip swatches and then some arm swatches and then give you my thoughts on stuff while I'm doing so. So in any case, I hope that you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates. And I am going to ask you guys at the end, but I'll ask you now as well, if anybody is interested in seeing comparison swatches of the colors that I do have to like other brands that I have in my collection, let me know because I am happy to do some for you guys. Now, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, but I do also have a lot of bullet lipsticks as well. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in just a second. So, the first thing that I am going to try out on my lips is the Essential Lip Pencil in Vintage Pink. Ooh. I'm terrible with lip pencils, so it's kind of funny that I got one of these, but I really wanted to try it because I loved the color so much when I saw it. Okay, so this is Vintage Pink, and it is the Essential Lip Pencil. I feel like it's very, very lightweight. I was kind of surprised just how light it is in my hand. 
It was extremely sharp. It wasn't super creamy, but it did apply well. But I'm also going to say this, I don't use lip pencils all the time, so I'm probably not the person you want to get a first response for on that because I just, I don't use a lot of them, so I don't know how it really compares. But for me, I guess I kind of thought it would be more creamy, but I suppose that's what a lipstick is for. So, <laughs> there is that. I am going to top that with Hibiscus, the lip gloss, or it's called the High Shine Gloss. And this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging of this. It's like sleek and just kind of professional looking. And this is the kind of weight that I would expect his products to be. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm going to put it right there for now. And then, so the mint is there. It is really fresh, but not overwhelming. It's kind of like, haha. Okay, you guys ever go to the restaurants? Not anymore. A lot of us aren't going to any restaurants. But normally in the restaurants, they have those toothpicks that come in like the little packages that are like the fresh mint flavor. And that is exactly like, especially because I just use this pencil, that is the vibe I'm getting because it not only like, it smells like it like 100% because it's got that wood smell from the lip pencil too. Strangest thing I've ever said in my life, but that is exactly like the vibe I'm getting. So these two mixed together are really pretty. And hibiscus, like the gloss, is not sticky. It is very smooth and creamy. It's not... I'm trying to think of a gloss that it reminds me of, but I can't really think of anything that is this smooth. I don't think I've used a lip gloss that is this smooth ever. So this is a super, super win. I really like it a lot. I now I'm sad that I only got one color, but they were not cheap. So I had to keep my purchases to a minimum because the lip, the lipsticks were so expensive. Like, girl, you expensive. <laughs> so in any case, I am going to like leave it like this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll try to get closer. Don't, my face is a mess right now. I keep peeling. In fact, this is probably as close as I'll get. Maybe I'll zoom the video, but, um, hang on. Okay. I'm going to take this off and I will be right back. And then I will swatch, lip swatch each of the lipsticks for you guys that I got. Okay. I am back. I have blotted my lip, well, I've wiped off my lips and then I blotted them with a foundation. That way I don't have any remnants of any of the stuff that I just put on. And we're going to go one color at a time. The first one starting, well, I'm very, very fair. So I tried to pick some of the more fair shades. Um, it's just a personal preference. I really meant to get the color Dahlia. My husband really liked it and I really liked it. And somehow I got this one instead of Dahlia. It's okay. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that this is a beautiful bullet lipstick. Like, I really like the shape of it. The only thing is I will notice that the packaging does get fingerprints on it really, really easily. So that's kind of sad, but that's okay. It's still very sleek and it's kind of weighty, which is nice. I like that. I don't like super like light packaging. It kind of bugs me. In any case, so this is Daisy. Oh. Okay. So here's some thoughts. Number one. This is like the softest lipstick formula I think I've ever put onto my lips. Like, ever. Very, very emollient feeling. Like, like when, okay, so I watched Wayne's video and I don't know if anybody else did. If you haven't, you should because it was really informative and it was really good. He talked about how he had actually geared this lipstick line towards people that were more mature. Not that he geared it all towards that, but that he was thinking of them when he had been formulating his products. And it was because, you know, as you get older, the lines in your lips are more prominent and you kind of lose some fullness and there's, there's challenges you face as you get older. It's just like a real reality of life. In any case, I could definitely see this being a really nice lipstick for anybody that either has really dry lips or is more mature. Uh, and, and if you're young, you're going to look great. I mean, just how nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> but really, this is a very smooth, smooth lipstick, and it feels wonderful on my lips. Like, it kind of feels more like, feels more like I'm wearing a chapstick, but more than that, but better. So that is that. But the smell 
is exactly like, I think it might be like CoverGirl or Maybelline, like the $1.99 lipsticks. It smells just like that. I'm like getting hit with scents today that I'm like, oh, I know you. I know you scent. <laughs> and that's what it is. It smells like really cheap lipstick, which is kind of sad and strange. But you'll know it immediately. Like, if you buy this, you're going to go, oh my gosh. You know, when I was in seventh grade, I was using lipsticks that smelled just like this, which was like, whoo, a long time ago. Um, so there is that. This is the color Daisy. I will try to get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Ow, I will smack my arm. I felt like kind of like Peter Griffin when he hits his knee and he's like, ah, ah. It's hilarious to me. Okay. Okay, so the next color is Camellia. And it is just a really beautiful kind of orangey undertoned shade. Now, my descriptions are never going to be as good as the ones that Wayne did on his video. I will actually link his video down below. I thoroughly suggest you guys watch it if you're thinking about picking these up because his color descriptions are like the best I've heard probably. So, really enjoyable descriptions. I am going to put this one on. So there is this. Definitely more orange undertone than Daisy. The smell is the exact same. The other thing I would note about these is I feel like you will go through them quickly because they are so soft. And I feel like I already am making dents on these. Like, boom, shakalaka. Sorry, I'm hearing doors in my house and I'm like, what's happening here? Um, I do think that, you know, these are going to be some that you're going to use through. Which is good because I have a massive collection of lipsticks and I will probably never get through all of them. So if you're going to spend money on something like this, you definitely want to be using it because $28 a piece is not cheap. However, for a high-end brand like Wayne Goss has already, that isn't bad compared to like Charlotte Tilbury or, you know, Tom Ford or some of those other bigger ones. So that, you know, $28, while it is a lot, it is also kind of really fair for his high like quality kind of things that he already does like his brushes are some of the best brushes that I've ever used I think I prefer I think I prefer his eye brushes to his face brushes now I do like some of his face brushes as well but his eye brushes are like thank you for making them I truly appreciate it I'm so weird <laughs> but in any case so this is the color camellia and I'm going to try and get a little bit closer with the actual video maybe hopefully and then I'm gonna take this one off and I'll put the next one on <laughs> okay so the next color I'm going to lip swatch is Lotus and this is also kind of an orange undertoned lipstick as well but more deep than Camellia and to me based on the swatches both Lotus and Dahlia looked similar their undertones were just slightly different, and I am still very sad I don't have Dahlia, so that's okay. I got the Lotus. Lotus is gorgeous, and it's sad. I wish that I wish this camera would pick up because I've got like real natural light coming in. It's even more beautiful in person than it's looking right now on camera, so. I will try and get closer for you guys. The other thing I would note is if you don't like the smell of these, if this is too, like, I was talking about the other lipsticks, if this smells too much like that for you, that's a time where I think this would be the perfect opportunity to put, like, one of his glosses over the top because I think that you would really enjoy it. Like, yes, I know it reminds me of a minty toothpick, but it's such a nice smell. I, I'm weird. It's completely okay with me. I'm down for it. <laughs> so in any case, I think that you could easily layer that and it would look not only really nice, but it would smell really, really good too. So in any case, this is Lotus. Okay, so the last shade that I got was Amaryllis. And not only did I really like the color, but I actually all was also thinking of a movie character from like, I mean, this is an older movie. I want to say it was like the... <sighs> 
the name of the movie? It's a musical. I think it was called The Music Man. I think there's a girl on there named Amaryllis that doesn't talk very well. And I, like, instantly my heart was warm because I was thinking of that. I don't think that that was the inspiration for this name, but that's what I was thinking of. Because everything seems to be fairly florally named, which I think is super cute, by the way. Love it. I really wanted to get Lily as well, but like I talked about, I have a budget and so <laughs> I, I could only get these ones. So this one again is Amaryllis and let's put it on. Ooh. Okay, it looks really orangey in the monitor right now and I'm not sure why. Cause in real life. Because in real life it's not. It's it's really pretty, but it's it's not that orangey, like it's coming off. This might, something smells like it's burning outside my house. <laughs> okay, it's kind of freaky. I hope everything is okay. I'm gonna try and get through this quick because I wanna make sure that nothing is on fire. Um, in any case, oh my gosh, I hope it's not my husband because my husband is terrible at starting fires. I shouldn't even tell you guys this, but because he will not be happy, but so, Every time that he starts fires, he, so one time we were at our old house and he used gas, like regular gas, which you're not supposed to use. And he like arm hairs up in smoke. It was a huge bang sound in the backyard. It was awful. And then we kind of tease him because he lit our whole like backyard on fire and not just our backyard. <laughs> My grandparents live next door to us and they have a field and the whole thing went up and I was like crying and stuff. Cause I was like, this is terrible. I thought it was going to take their barn. The fire department came out. They had like fire trucks and people stomping out the fires and stuff. So, um, and then just recently he caught our yard on fire again. So whenever he does fires, I get very, very nervous. I shouldn't have brought this up, but hopefully he won't watch this. Oh, I hear him walking. So in any case, this is Amaryllis, and that is the last of the lipsticks that I have. I'm going to do some swatches for you guys on my arm as well, so you can compare it that way, and I will be right back after I have this. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one on or if I'm going to swap, swap it up, so we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I'm going to arm swatch all of these for you. Actually, first, I'm going to totally put on some of my uh, hibiscus lip gloss over the top of Amaryllis. And just, yay. <laughs> it's super nice. Uh, so there is no fire in the backyard. He is actually just grilling, so all should be well. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, okay, so in any case, I will start with the lipsticks, and then I will do the lip pencil, and I will do the lip gloss all just on my arm. So the first one, again, is Daisy. And that is just a beautiful kind of pinky, pinky, pinky nude shade. The next color is Camellia. And that is more of like an orangey pinky nude. So that's that. Then Lotus. which swatched is almost like a mix of these two, but slightly deeper. They're all kind of in the same vein though, which is, you know, kind of par for the course with nudes. This one is Amaryllis. And that's more of a ready pink. Not that it's like a red, but there's like definitely a red undertone to that. Then the lip pencil is the vintage pink color. I'll try and I'd love to do it like not facing me, but I have to because otherwise I'll not make a good line. And that is like a pinky nude with a slight gray undertone to it, I would almost say. Hibiscus, which is the gloss. Hmm. I'm going to make a bigger swatch of hibiscus so you can kind of see the shift of it. It's a pink with like a champagne-y silver kind of shine to it. 
And I'm going to get closer real quick. Hopefully that is helpful being closer. Okay, so that is the shades that I got. I wish that I had gotten more, uh, maybe in the future, because I definitely want to pick up Dahlia. Um, it just didn't happen right now, so it's like starting to get really, really gloomy out, which I love. And I'm going to go read, because that is my jam. But in any case, I would say overall, I really liked everything. I think that the way that the lipsticks feel on your lips is fantastic. Um, the smell, even though it does remind me of those lipsticks that I talked about, it's not terrible. I mean, like, once you put it on, you don't notice it. You just notice it, like, while you're applying it. But as soon as it's on your lips for good, it's just like an afterthought more than anything. Uh, the lip pencil is... I, like I said, I don't know lip pencils, so I actually I'm not, like, the right person to talk to about this. So I feel like it's dry, but it applies well. So... Um, and then the lip gloss is just fantastic. I think it goes on very smooth and it's just like, it's perfect on your lips. I don't think I've ever used, okay, I really love Pat McGrath lipstick. I really love Jeffree Star lipstick, but this is even smoother and softer and less sticky than all of them. I'm trying to think if there's a single one that is the same. This does remind me maybe a little bit of Dose, but more rich than that. Oh, sorry, Dose of Colors. I just like... Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in any case, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates. And if you guys are at all interested in seeing maybe some comparison swatches to other brands, let me know because I am always happy to do swatches for you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye!